guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be testing the Koki makeup product that was showed to you by my previous unboxing in my channel. So yeah, if you're interested about these products and you want to know how these products perform in my eyes and in my face, just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Okay, so I am highly excited about this product. So let's go ahead and start with our eyes. Let's go ahead and prime our eyes. And for today's primer, I am going to use my e.l.f. Pro Eyeshadow Primer. So I'm just gonna take my finger and dub a little bit of the product in my eyelids. And then I blend this out with my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush Alright guys, so now my eyes is nicely primed Let's go ahead to our eyeshadow application So for today's eyeshadow, I am going to use the Koki Artist Palette This is their Peachy Queen Palette And yeah, I like the packaging on this one as well I already tested this eyeshadow We'll see on this video how these shadows perform. So this is how she looks like. So first shade I'm going to use is this shade right here. And I'm going to use my Morphe M573 to kind of like put this shade. You know what? I don't want to use that brush because I feel like it's not that clean. I feel like I used that brush from the other day and I feel like it's not giving me the right exact color of the shadow. Alright guys, so next shade I'm going to use in the palette is this one right here. And I'm going to use the same brush. This is actually the Wet n Wild Crease brush. And if you hear a video, like a baby video, oh, that's my baby girl, she's actually here. I tried to give her to her sisters, but she don't <laughs> want to play. So if you hear a background sound, that's her. <laughs> the next shade I'm gonna pick up in the pan is this middle shade right here. It's like a light pink shade, kind of like run that on the upper crease. And then drag that color. Let me just change my brush. I'm gonna use this brush from Amazon. It's kind of like white haired brush. I like these brushes from Amazon, you guys. I will try to link this down below if I can still find it. Amazon Get has a lot of nice brushes sets. I feel like um, even Amazon brushes, they're also good. Morphe brushes, they are just so expensive. Like, I don't have a lot of Morphe brushes, but I have like two sets from them. The Laura Lee set and there's another one. And I'm trying to like practice more looks using a very, very good quality brushes. But Amazon brushes is also good. I just found that out. BH Cosmetics is like amazing. And they are very, very affordable. That's why I love them. So I have a lot of BH Cosmetics brushes. So I feel like they're so worth the money. So yeah. This is a BH Cosmetics crease brush. And I am going to pick kind of like berry shade right here in the bottom. Just gonna like run that on my waterline kind of. Pigment, guys. See that pigment? It's amazing. Let me let me just let you guys come on in. Right there. Or you can see it. You can see well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use my Wet n Wild Crease brush. And I'm gonna pick this, still this shade right here. To kind of like, kind of like darken the crease area. And then drag that color in my inner crease, like so. I love this eyeshadow palette. 
the pigmentation is really is there you see that it's so pretty Concentrate that on my outer, outer upper crease. Same on my other eye. So, next shade, I need a pucker brush. This is another pucker brush from Amazon, you guys. That's how she looks like. And I am going to dip in this shade right here. And then I am going to spray it. You know what? Let me not spray it first and see if it sticks to my eyelids. That is gorgeous, you guys. I like this. Love this. And they said, like, if you use your finger to apply shimmers on your lid, it will actually make it, like, pop more. Mommy. Mm -hmm. Sleep. You're sleepy? Mm-hmm. Let me just put this girl to sleep, guys. So, I'll be back. Alright guys, now I'm back and so I already put my baby girl into sleep. I think the last step I was doing was I was putting my shimmer shade on my lid. So let me just um, touch that up real quick. I'm just gonna go ahead and do um, my other eye with um, the same shimmer shade. So let me just... Alright guys, now um, I am going to use another small brush from e.l.f. This is crease brush and I am going to pick up this shade right here and I am going to put that on upper crease. I mean lower crease like so and just concentrate that on the lower crease. Right, so I have my Luxie blending brush right here. I am going to pop this shade right here and kind of like blend this color together to kind of like darken that crease. Alright, so I'm gonna come back for the eyes a little later. Let's go ahead and move on to our face. I already pre-primed earlier, but still, I am going to go in with a primer. So today, I am going to use this Refresh Hydrating Setting Spray from Koki Cosmetics. No, Koki Professionals. So, yeah. I feel like that is so refreshing. So to prime my face, I am going to use the Koki Smooth and Glow Hydrating Foundation Primer. Something hydrating, I am into it, especially this summertime. And my face is so effing dry. I'm gonna move into color correcting. So guys, for today, I'm going to use my Catrice Camouflage Color Correcting. This is the wake up effect, and I am going to use the green one as well. The green, the anti-red. So yeah. I'm gonna use BH Cosmetics 137 brush to kind of like blend this out.
feel like I want to switch to my sponge, guys. I am like a sponge goer. <laughs> it is really, really nice. Since I don't have a foundation from Koki, I am going to use my own foundation that's in my collection. Um, I am going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Foundation. And I am in a shade Amber. I'm going to use my Elf um, Total Face Sponge. This is absolutely nice. Balance this in the face. Mmm. Love this foundation, you guys. I am obsessed with this foundation. And for my concealer today, I am going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. And this is in the shade 385 Amber. And again, blend that out with e.l.f. face sponge. Next thing, I am going to set my under eye and I am going to use today the Wet n Wild Loose Setting Powder. This is in the shade Banana. So. Alright, so to dust this powder off my face, I'm going to use my ELF 101 brush. So yeah, dust this powder off. And let's go ahead and move into our contouring, bronzing, and stuff. So let me just go ahead and use the Koki Powder Contour Palette. I am going to use the Real Techniques Contour Brush. Next up is my blush and for today's blush, I am going to use this blush up palette from Koki Cosmetics. It's a little bit dirty. So yeah, this is how she looks like. Let me just open her up. It is the shade the Mure. I'm gonna just roll all this shade here in my brush like so and just go ahead and blush up. Love the shade. It's very neutral. So the next step is I'm going to go ahead and put some highlight on and then today I'm going to use this um, Koki Soft Glow Highlighter. This is in a shade Rossi. This is how she looks like. And I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics Highlighting Brush. Do you see that glow? That is so pretty. So pretty. Alright, so let me just put my lashes on. Today's lashes, I'm going to use the Kiss Lash Couture. This is actually the style brushier, brazier. Alright guys, so now my lashes is on. Let's go ahead and do a bottom eyeliner. And for today, I am going to use my Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips Eyeliner. This is in a shade Nude Eyes. This is how she looks like. It's perfect for the eyes. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and do my lip application. So I'm going to just line my lips. This is in the shade Rick and Frack. So again, I don't have any lip products from Koki. So I'm going to use my Burt's Bees and in the shade Sandy Seas. And now guys, let's go ahead and set 
Our Face and I am going to use their Refresh Hydrating Facial Mist, the one that I used to prime my face earlier. So let's go ahead and set this face. camera died on me right there but oh by the way let me just coat me my mascara this is like the most least thing that i always forgot to do in my makeup so i'm gonna use my l'oreal voluminous mascara and i'm also going to use the wet and wild megalant mascara for my lower lashes Alright guys, so this is not a final and completed look. What do you think about it? Um, so far, I love all the products that I've used. Although it's not a full face, I incorporate some of the products that I already have in my collection. So the new products that I've tried is this stuff right here, um, Koki Cosmetics. Let's talk about the palette first. Um, this one, um, I like it. I like the color scheme of it. The eyeshadow itself, it's so buttery. It's easy to blend. It's very, very pigmented. Um, the only thing that actually... Um, I'm trying to check if I have mascara on my face but yeah the only thing that I actually learned on this palette personally for me is the shimmers to get the amount of pigment that I want in my brush I have to kind of like have or like use a heavy hand to kind of like dig into the pan on the eyeshadow but again everything as you can see my eyeshadow is really really soft it's very very buttery um, I don't experience any fallout at all which is great or even if the eyeshadow has or like has a fallout it doesn't really bother me but yeah I like this one the next thing is my favorite of all is this the soft glow highlighter I love this one the highlight is just a bomb and then um, the powder contour palette I heard a lot of reviews on this and this to me is a baby like I love this I will continue using this I love the contour though I feel like I appear so light because I'm trying to like um, I'm trying to like work on with my lightning with my audio and everything so just bear with me guys but if I am going to just let me see let me just um, kind of like dim you guys so um like right there I think you can see that it's really really nice I have like a nice color in my face um like I got a nice bronze in my face so I like that a lot I like this um powder palette and also the blush perfect for just everyday look I like the shade demure it's so pretty so yeah by the way guys I also have this um, eyeshadow topper I would say but I did not use it I actually tried it but I said um, I don't know if I'm going to incorporate it with my video today so I did uh, try uh, this one but for some reason um, I would not say that I didn't like it the only thing that I don't I mean the only thing that's kind of like a downside on this one to me is just it's so watery it runs super fast and I think think the way I might technique is not um, I would say it's not really really great so again I am not used to using the liquid eyeshadow so yeah that's there so yeah that's all I have for you today guys I hope you liked the video I hope um, everybody will have a good day ahead and I hope you give this video a big thumbs up as always don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell beside it for you will get notified if your girl <laughs> will upload a new video so yeah I will see you guys on my next video bye